Well, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Matthews and I wanted to share with you how you can create a PowerPoint presentation to support your research. Let's say that you uh, have a research project that is due and that you have forgotten to or didn't get around to creating a PowerPoint to support that. Or maybe you have a proposal that you want to present to a group of individuals, but again, you don't have a PowerPoint to support that. There's no need to freak out. It's very easy and very simple to do, and you can do it quickly using the information that you already have available to you. The first thing you need to do, of course, is open up PowerPoint. Once you've opened up your PowerPoint presentation or the PowerPoint program, come over to here where it says Outline. By clicking on the outline, you get this empty space with which to work. The next thing you want to do is open up your research or your document that you're going to be drawing from. And in this case, I'm going to use one that I have uh, created earlier on called uh, Security Industry uh, Basics. Simply uh, highlight or control copy all the information that, that is in your presentation um, that you're going to use. And then you're going to paste this into the outline form. Now ordinarily, you could go through and uh, excise just the key points that you wanted to represent in your PowerPoint, but this is much faster. You highlight everything, you bring in everything, and then you can delete what you don't want to uh, present to your audience from the uh, area here in the, uh, uh, in the outline form. Next thing you want to do is recognize that PowerPoint usually brings in all the information in a pre-existing manner. It will automatically bring things in uh, centered and it will automatically bring it in at a particular font and at a particular size. For our purposes, I'm going to again highlight everything that's here in the outline and then I want to make it left justified because that makes it easier for me to read and easier for your audience to work with. The other thing is, or read also, the other thing is I want to minimize this a little bit or shrink it down to make it a little uh, simpler to uh, recognize and to read. Uh, recognize and read for, for your audience to read. The next thing I need to do is create PowerPoint slides. Now. Uh, you can create a PowerPoint slide for every paragraph, but that might get a little bit redundant. So might, what you might want to do is identify the paragraph information that is most important. Uh, of course, the title slide should stand by itself. And perhaps this next paragraph slide, uh, this next paragraph would be uh, most important. So all I do is put my cursor here to the front of the paragraph and then click return and it automatically creates a PowerPoint slide. I know it may not seem like a slide right now, but it is. You'll be able to go through here and delete the information that is uh, is not as important um, in just a moment. So I'm going to move down and actually just create a couple more slides so that I have some information with which to work uh, as we walk through this. All I'm doing is I've taken my entire research and or in this case just the first page of my research and I'm creating slides which will turn into um, the talking points for my research itself. Okay, I've got all the slides that I need for the moment. I'm going to go in here now onto each slide and still staying with the outline form, uh, remove the information I think is perhaps not as, uh, as valuable. Remember, the purpose of the PowerPoint is to support the research, not to regurgitate it. So, of course, you want your slides to be uh, as succinct as is possible, and there's information that will be necessarily taken out so that you can expand on it a little bit later. Uh, don't be distracted by the information that's over here to the right. We'll dress that up in just a moment. Right now, what you want to focus in on is the slides themselves and the information that's being presented. Well, I like those first couple of slides. Let me move here to this next few. Hmm. I see that there's some information here that I'd like to... Uh, highlight and maybe even turn into bullet points. These first three or these last three uh, areas here, I like to bullet point those. So I'm going to highlight them, move up to where it says uh, bullet points, and then just create some simple bullet points. You can use squares or dashes or dots or whatever you want um, that's available to create those bullet points. This is sufficient for what it is that I want to do. 
Um, then I'm going to move to my next one. And in most cases, uh, if you just use or just leave the first line or two, you've got the crux of the information that you want to uh, display for your, uh, uh, to your audience. Um, I guess that's about enough. And then again, uh, I'm not going to do this for all of this, uh, for every uh, paragraph, but you can see how you simply go through and take the paragraph, um, highlight the information that you don't want or that you don't want represented or repeat it to your audience or the information that you yourself want to repeat or uh, expand on and just delete that information out. That's enough for now. Now let's go back up and do some wordsmithing and some dressing up. I'll start with the very first slide, which is my title slide. I Perhaps I don't, actually that's not uh, in bad shape, but upon it over here, left justified. If I just click onto the slide itself, I can center it. And then again, using uh, the increase uh, button, I can make it a little bit bigger. And only because I like to have things kind of squared away, I will... Uh, add in uh, or take take away some of the extra blanks that are there. I know that this is the center of the slide and I like it centered so I'm going to move to my next slide. One of the things you'll note is that all the information in this case is raced up all the way to the very top and you have this second uh, block that's here. Well that's because that's the design that I had allowed PowerPoint to make. I like to keep it simple uh, with regard to uh, my, my PowerPoints because I can dress them up any way I want to later. So I'll leave it that way. I have here on the bottom a place where I can add in additional text or I can add in pictures or video clips or sound bites. In this case I don't need any of that because I'm going to uh, provide all the sound bite information itself when I'm doing the presentation. So if I click on the block itself I can delete that and then simply come up here to where the text is, uh, click again, and you'll see that this text is outlined. If I go to the middle square or one of the side corners, I can drag down this block of information and make it easier to, uh, easier to see. Now making it easier to read is simply a matter of adding in a space. Uh, I'll go here to, in this case, I'll go to the word thus, click return, go to the word brief, click return, and then move my PowerPoint down just a little bit, information down just a little bit. PowerPoint, when you're, uh, which is different than the actual paper itself, doesn't really care if you use one line uh, per, or one slide per line, or one line per space. In fact, the general convention is no more than about three to four lines, and usually not more than about. Uh, uh, six or seven paragraphs at the most. Bullet points really work well in PowerPoint, which is um, going to be uh, coming up here next. I'm just going to go through here and wordsmith a little bit and dress this up just a little bit. And you can do the same with yours. If you have a lot of text, it makes it easier um, to go through and take out the stuff that you don't think is important. If you don't have a lot of text, it also makes it easier to simply expand on the information that you're providing and make it a little bit bigger and uh, perhaps easier for your audience to read. Well here I've got this uh, these bullet points that I created uh, a few moments ago uh, and I'm going to use the same conventions that I've been using all along uh, with regard to what to pack in or what to take out. So I've got a lot of information here. It's not all showing up on the screen. I could do a number of things. I could create a separate uh, I could uh, eliminate a lot of information that's here or I could create a separate slide for each bullet point. In this case I think I'm going to go with the latter. Now you can again um, do this in a number of different ways. Uh, what I like to do is come back over to the outline portion, highlight the things that I think are really critical or really important and then bold those. And then uh, I'll leave that as it is, but I'll use my bullet points and create another slide for each of these bullet points simply by going to them. And what it's going to show or what it's going to uh, depict in this case, I'm going to go to the top of it, is uh, the information um, 
that's going to be uh, later expanded on. In this case, what do they know, uh, what they know, what they have, or what they do. I go into the fact that it's a professional security vulnerability assessment, etc. And then I can move into the bullet points themselves, which are now their own individual slides, and highlight that. Now maybe I don't want to give all the information there because I don't want it to seem like I'm regurgitating uh, what was already in the report itself, or maybe I do. Uh, and then maybe I will ex actually expand on the information that's being provided um, a little bit later or during the presentation. And maybe this might be a great place to ask or to a great place to uh, put in some uh, talking points or uh, allow my audience to ask additional questions that uh, they may have with regard to the information uh, that's presented. All right, well, that's actually the crux of how you create your PowerPoint. So now let's take a look at it, uh, what it might look like in real life. I'm just going to go to my slide presentation, click onto that, and you can see that it starts out uh, with the security industry basics. This is the title of my PowerPoint. If I want to dress it up, I can. If I, want to make, uh, if I don't want to dress it up, I can just leave it like it is and move to my next slide. You can see that those bulleted points or those highlighted uh, information points are there for you. Uh, and as you walk through it, it's not really a regurgitation of what it was you did in your research. It's more in a uh, summary or a uh, summation of that. And you can expand on it when you're talking uh, about your PowerPoint or talking about your research uh, using the PowerPoint slides themselves. What makes, that, what makes this much more interesting and much more inviting for, to your uh, casual observer, to your audience, is that again, you're not taking the time to rehash all the information that they may be able to read to themselves, but you're highlighting just those key points that you think are most important uh, to get the point across with regard to your presentation. Well, that's all there is to it. It usually takes no more than about five or 10 minutes to create a PowerPoint, a pretty powerful PowerPoint. In this case, I've even got 12 slides and I've used the paragraph form in order to do that. You can do the same thing. It's not uh, difficult, nothing to freak out about, uh, but there you are. Now, one thing I want to mention very quickly is that the purpose of this presentation was not to uh, just demonstrate how to add in the the video and add in any graphics or add in any other uh, images and that type of thing. I just wanted you to get the basic PowerPoint, uh, basic information for your research into your PowerPoint for your presentation. And I think you can do that. Well, that's all I have for you. Again, I'm Dr. Matthews. Uh, if you have any questions, there'll be a link here at the bottom of this or at the end of this uh, presentation and you can uh, email me your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. As always, you can go on to YouTube and a number of other resources that are freely available to you and expand on what I've given you here, which is just the basics of the PowerPoint. Until then, uh, good luck with your next PowerPoint presentation. Have a great day.